Bart Baker. Now, when I mention Bart Baker, many of you might think about parodies such as I'm the One parody and a few others such as Anaconda and others. Yes, you get the point. Um, <coughs> well, his last um, actual upload for his YouTube was two years ago. Now, what happened to him? I mean, he had 10 million subscribers and he was growing. Why did he stop? Well, he moved to China, and as many of you might know, in China, YouTube is very illegal. I mean, the only way you can actually have it in China is if you use a VPN, and VPN basically means that you know you can move your phone or your computer's servers to somewhere. You actually aren't. You know, me personally, I sometimes use them. I sometimes use them to, you know, get Netflix from other countries. But that's kind of beside besides the point. The real thing I'm talking about is the fact that hey, he's been gone. So what happened? Well, he moved to China, but what is really messed up about this situation is that he used his parents to actually um, earn money. He, he exploited them. He made a bunch of TikToks about how, oh, you should come home, they said, like, because they live in America. At the start of this pandemic. But now, it's the tables have turned, you know? Because, yeah, it's way shitty in America than it is in uh, China now. So, now it's like, you should come to China. He has made like 3.4 bajillion videos of this. It's extremely boring. It's not fun to watch. Uh, I was going to say there that it wasn't original. I'm pretty sure it's, it is original because no one's such a douchebag that they'll actually use their parents for views. Unless you're talking about Logan Paul or Jake Paul. We don't talk about them channel because this is a very Christian and good channel some of his parodies were kind of funny but after watching him move to China and stuff you can see that he's actually a really big douchebag I mean using his parents for views that's kind of shitty. But, uh, either way, he... He is really big in making parodies on YouTube. And some of these parodies were kind of offensive, but everything is offensive these days. So, that's nothing new. But either way, you see, he is annoying as fuck. He makes bad music. Well, the point wasn't even to make good music, but either way, it's still extremely bad. It's not as land bad though. That apology video or some shit <laughs> where she reacts to hate comments, as land. Ooh, yeah, that was kind of fake. She just said that because it was trash. 
But either way, um, so, you know, he moved to China, and now he's getting used as a marketing tool for Chinese propaganda. Like, are you serious? Marketing tool. Marketing tool. You had one of the biggest channels on YouTube, and you're getting used by a marketing tool. It wasn't one of the biggest, but it was still pretty fucking big. So, when you begin saying, but hey, maybe you want to go to China. See, that question is kind of hard. Because I'm pretty sure he went there for monetary reasons. I mean, they need to pay him a fat stack. Because imagine, unless he just hates his family and stuff, he left behind his parents, he left behind probably his grandparents, he left, be he left behind everybody just to go to China. I think that is for monetary reasons. They're probably paying him like at least 300k. At least. That's the only way I can understand that he actually went to China. Because imagine how much he's losing with going to China. He's losing contact with his friends and family. He's losing a big monetary gain from uh, YouTube, but he did not get. But let's hypothetically say that I'm exactly right. He earns 300k a year. If that is true, then he earns more than he would if he, would, if he still was at YouTube. So, either way, this was just a short video f about Bart Baker. So, if you would like to, please like, comment, share. And by the way, thank you guys for so many views on the Ghetto ASMR video. Thank you so much. That is honestly insane. Nearly 50 views. Like, what? The honest fuck. Anyways, have a good time. See ya. Bye.